get this straight, Lean Ball. I don't work for Tones. Welcome everyone to Werewolf at the Movies, where you get to listen to me review a movie, and you get to watch me ride my motorcycle all at the same time. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 1988 film Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I'll admit this wasn't my first choice of movie to watch and review, but my buddies over at Jobbed Out and Hot Sauce Done Quick had suggested I review it. So the idea is to kind of have a month of animated films, so let's see if that ends up working out. I first saw this movie when I was a child, too young to actually get everything going on, and a few years shy of appreciating how good this movie actually is. Now although this wasn't the first live action animated film, it is the one that is arguably the most well known. As I rack my brain, I can only think of one. And that's uh, Pete's Dragon from like 1977 or something. I must say that I really enjoyed this film. Uh, it was funny, kept me entertained throughout the whole entirety. But now comes the tough part. The cast. I know it shouldn't be difficult, but do I list the cartoon characters voice actors? I don't know, we'll see. So first we have the incredible Bob Hoskins. Tunes. Granted, the name may not click for all of you, but I assure you that Incredible does him no justice. On a sad note, Bob Hoskins passed away several years ago, so if you're watching this and you don't know who he is, may I suggest watching Hook and paying particular attention to Smee, or Nixon, perhaps, paying attention to J. Edgar Hoover. Or even the film Unleashed. It's an excellent film. Trust me on this, you will thank me. Next we have Christopher Lloyd of Back to the Future fame. Is this man removing evidence from the scene of a crime? There is Joanna Cassidy. But tell me, Eddie. Is that a rabbit in your pocket or you're just happy to see me? Of Blade Runner and Six Feet Under fame. And contrary to what uh, I said earlier, I'll, I'll give a shout out to the cartoon Roger Rabbit's voice actor. That's Charles Fleischer. You think that my boss, Arke Maroon, talks a safe on Marvin Acne's head? I guess, like, I could go on further and tell you about Jessica Rabbit, how when she was singing in this movie, she was voiced by somebody else, and then when she was, like, talking, she was voiced by somebody completely different, but I won't go into that. It doesn't really matter. All in all, it was a pretty solid film. There's not much that I didn't like. Um, it's also nice to know that old school animation can still hold up in today's digital world. Come on, Eddie. You're my only hope. With all that said, I'm going to be rating this film seven kicks to the cartoon balls. <laughs> out of 10. Seven kicks to the cartoon balls out of 10. Thank you for spending time with me. I do appreciate it. Remember that you're always welcome here. This is a safe place, a happy place, a werewolf place. Be safe and I'll catch you next time.